Hey, this is your man, Jay Liggs, and you're back rocking with the culture here. I got my favorite people in the world. What up, people? How y'all doing? Hi. Good. Yeah, life's good. We're still trying to do this Zoom thing. You see, we hit and miss with it, but we figured it out for you all. It's a lot of stuff going on, so definitely a lot to talk about. Um, well, we're going to first start with everybody's week. E, how, you, how was your week? I know you were uh, you Jamaican now. How does that feel? And you working like 20 jobs or 15 jobs or some shit like that? I'm so sorry about the coughing in the background. <laughs> We didn't even hear it. We didn't. Oh. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> heard that, though. Were you asking me? I don't know what you just said. What? <laughs> How was your week? Aren't you a Jamaican now? I think you got like 15 jobs. I have two. Don't do okay. me. And um, it goes by fast because I just go, 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 and sleep. Go, 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 <laughs> go, go, gadget. <laughs> yeah. I like it this way, though. Okay. I'm busy while technically not being able to do all the other things that I love. So, um, I'm I'm good. Can't complain. You're getting a lot of money over there. I heard. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, oh, so okay. Just a little bit more, money. Just a little bit more grow. Okay. What the online shopping carts look like? Yeah, they real full. First of all, that's how you know, like, you have bad friends. I'm going to call her out, too. Crystal <laughs> sent me a text when she knew I got my first check. Talking about, yeah, Bath and Body Works got soaps on sale. We oh. might as well go to Home Goods. You got all this extra money, girl. We might as well just shop for the house. I was like, you're a psycho. <laughs> Why she clocking your check? You need a hobby. <laughs> Did you go? Yeah, she went. I'm sure she did. did. She, she oh, went. Okay. She went online. She just didn't go. I don't really need a host. So. You went online is what you're saying. <laughs> right. Next. Right. <laughs> I'll shop online. It's going to be for like a purse, a watch, a shoe. You ain't going hey, nowhere. You bougie. <laughs> just why I didn't buy anything. <laughs> Saraya, how was your week? It's been, a, it's been a pretty good week. I think I was done with you, Saraya. How was your week? <laughs> Easy. Uh, my week was probably about the same. I've been doing 50 hour work weeks and, um, you know, hitting the gym also. So that feels like three jobs to me. But it's pretty good. <laughs> it I, it does. I agree with Aaron. It does make it go by fast. Um, by the time Wednesday is over, I start feeling good because I'm like, all right, weekend is coming. I could try to relax a little bit on some other stuff that's not actual work. So week was pretty good. Um, almost had some foolery at the job, but they cleared that up, thankfully. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to say that's the reason. I don't know. I was never giving Oh, I was just joking. But oh. <laughs> now you just let me know <laughs> what the but, reason you know, was, and thank you, girl. But it was clear. Uh, and, you know. <laughs> Look, Thanks. life is good. <laughs> yeah, so I'll leave it at that. So, so you get more money too, huh? Okay, everybody. But nowhere to fit it at, you know. So I'm just chat and chat. You said and what? I said I don't know where to spend it at. So I'm just saving. And what happens with me? I don't know about y'all, but like once I start to have a certain amount of money. I don't want to see it go down, so I'm going to be even tighter with my money. Like, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, look, I got this. Okay, I don't want to spend that. I shouldn't buy that. I want to keep this amount. So it, it really... Bro, <laughs> I went to Target last night, and I was like, let me buy these workout pants, because I've been working out, like, basically every day of the week, right? Mm -hmm. What else is there to do, <laughs> right? Work out, work, and go to sleep. Like, so I'm in there, I'm like, let me buy some new workout pants. Like, I'm like, these, like, $16. I was like, I don't think they're worth it right now. Oh, God. Maybe I'll come back. Like, but, but if a nigga was broke, broke, I'd be like, yeah, let me cop these. Right, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's $16. I'll get that bag. Right. Yeah. It's horrible. It's horrible. And now it's like, yeah, it's a little too much. All the cute <laughs> workout clothes. You, you like figure out that you don't know, want them. <laughs> Yeah, that's, the the that's real deal is you figure it. out when you have when you have money in a way like basically to waste somewhat. Mm -hmm. You kind of like I don't want you that bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I'm that's what it really is. 
you think you want things when you technically can't afford it, but then you're just like, yeah, I don't really want you. <laughs> so I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. I definitely put a thing or two back. Like, it ain't worth it. So, oh, 16. So, Tim, what's been going on with you? <laughs> Um, kind of like the complete opposite. My shopping carts are no longer full because I've been purchasing everything in sight. Um, same money coming in, so it's no, no extra. But I, you got that gas money. You got the other stuff that you're saving. So I mean, yeah, and I, I like decreasing. Oh, I, I decrease a lot of my bills. What you say? I said you were straight to begin with. So I mean, I mean technically, I, we all were. To be fair. Ooh. Everyone has been fine, yeah. but niggas just find an extra time. I mean, I'll extra things look good. to prepare time. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I don't got no, I don't got no real complaints. Nordstrom yeah, out um, from the couch. <laughs> Nordstrom's anniversary sale. Oh god, just started. So you know, life, life's good for me. It's the last thing you bought, too. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> what? What? Uh, what is the last thing you bought? I bought dinner tonight. Mm mm. No. no. I'll be right back. What's the uh, last? Something you can't eat. What's the last thing you bought? A purse. Mm, from oh, where? God. From where? What it looked like? It's who, from Nordstrom's. It's who, a, who, it was a baby. really good deal. <laughs> So the money, so the money that you hey, you already know. So wait, you so already the, know they on that bull when they be like, it was a good deal. <laughs> so let me ask you a question: the money that you save, did you take that and put it in your savings? Because you didn't save it if you don't save it. I mean, it's in some accounts. I'm, right. I'm say, like saving wise, I'm I'm good because I ain't I splurge, but I'm also a penny pincher. So. Yeah, I might buy a three hundred dollar <laughs> item, but I will skimp on everything else. But once again, it's because you want it, and that's how I feel with my money right now. Like I'll spend money on something I really, really want. Typically, I really, really want to travel. I'll spend money on that. Can't mm -hmm. do that right now. So mm -hmm. to be honest, ain't nothing else I want but food <laughs> and gas. <laughs> Like, I've been fiending for travel. Like, uh, yeah, it's been bad. Yeah. Like, right, well, maybe I could just do like a road trip somewhere. Like, maybe I could go see Michigan. They say it's nice up right. north. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, a lot of people been hitting cabins. A lot of cabins up north lately. Up so, north, yeah. Get you a couple people I that you. Uh, we should all do that. That you. Uh, I have your birthday off. We could do it that weekend. Mm. I got to get a root canal that morning, but afterwards. So you're not going anywhere. <laughs> that I'm sorry, like no, well, no, well, no. Well, you can travel after the root canal. I can travel after the root canal. They're not putting me to sleep. I have like back surgery that morning, but I'm good to go at 2 p.m. But I'd be good. No, nah, root canal is I'm not. I'm not getting put to sleep. <laughs> no. They just don't know me. First of all, cut it out. The nigga's going to be on medication, so she's not going to do anything but eat and we'll take We'll be beds. there. <laughs> That's what you do. I'll be fine. Okay. Okay, you, girl. <laughs> you know, you, you know, you niggas been to pop some drugs and, and, and took a tile and all of it. When that's on the drink. Me, we talking about <laughs> Soraya. <laughs> and I never had a root canal either. So me either. I had one. She'll be fine. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Mouth all swole. I'll be oh, there, oh, girl. Oh yeah, she she gonna be drooling, but she'll be there. <laughs> you gonna come over and watch. You gonna come over and watch reruns of the Golden Girls? Is what you saying <laughs> for your birthday? Yeah, that's all I, I got out of what you just said. Sounds sad. However, I was like a good night. Day. It was straight. Just glad it's over. Um, real busy. It's just busy, you know, like, you know, working from home thing, you just don't really get it. Like you said, you can't really do nothing. So mm -hmm. with that being the case, I get up from my desk and walk to the living room. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. So I it's a bike ride. Thing. It makes it no, I, I do. I do get it out. Makes it easier to deal with. What makes it easier to deal with? No, not being able to travel because other people can't do it either. Uh, <laughs> oh. but yeah. What? I mean, I, 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 well, no, no, yeah. Some people, because the people, people I know actually 
kind of smart enough to stay at home for the most part. So, oh, man, I'm going to Phoenix soon. Yeah, because I, yeah, I, no, I'm thinking I, about going to DC next Yeah, month. I might take a trip. Like, you're, on your, you're on your own. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, can't yeah, I, 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 I got to get out of here. I, I'm somewhere. Like, I might I take the, I'm not thinking about taking the kids to see the point next, next couple of weeks. So, I, I, I got to do something. <laughs> I My friend's about to talk to trash if they hear this. They gonna be because uh, I just canceled a Texas trip. What like three weeks ago? I think no. Mm -hmm. I was just like, yeah, I just don't feel right going. But yeah, they probably gonna be like, hey, it just I guess it just depends on what you're doing. But you Texas, go is, to be fair, Texas, Texas is rough. Hot spot. Phoenix, Arizona is not. But it <laughs> so, also depends on what you're going. It's like she might be going to Phoenix and just be with family, and if you quarantine it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you might go. Yeah. No. no, I'm I'm just no. Are you about to go bust it open? You might be on absolutely, not. absolutely not. You might be, be a hot pocket. Hot absolutely pocket. Not. No sir. Yeah. No, you love just talking shit. <laughs> just going for a good time. Uh -huh. I'm I'm actually going to help my friend move. Oh, that's, okay, what that's what they call it now. That's what they call it. That's why I never bought a plane ticket and never will buy a plane ticket to help a, to help a nigga move. Well, I don't have to buy a plane ticket. Oh, they buying it. You need my help. Why would okay, I be that for real? So so let me let me ask you a question. So no, you get it for real. So, for real. Wait, 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 what question? So there's no other friends in this area of where this person lives that Fact. can help them move that they have to fly you in Fact. to help them move. Fact. Wouldn't it be cheaper yeah. to hire movers? It, yes. Probably. Yes. I feel, are movers expensive? Not as expensive. Like a plane ticket. <laughs> a plane ticket you could get for like $200. Not now. Oh, it might be less now, but no, still. no, they gouging now because they they ain't oh, filling up they? the planes. They ain't making no money. They gouging. They filling up the planes. No, they not. well, some uh, of them are filling them up. <laughs> Did y'all hear Southwest? They not cleaning them planes till mm -hmm. like at night. Like I could believe that they still no, like in all day cleaning. That's just extremely lazy to me, right? Like, it's actually dangerous. Y'all can crazy. spray. Y'all can walk by it. I could spray my own seat. Like well, when I, I went I to would. Florida, I wiped yeah, I, down. I, my I would spray my own seat. Mm -hmm. I, I did all that because you just never know. And, and, and to be honest, honest, you don't even have to go through all that because they have. And it, that's what I would do if I was flying now. But they have it where you can get like a. It's like a. It's like a fall <laughs> thing that you can walk through, and you know, spray the whole thing down to make it quicker. So it's uh, it's definitely. Avenues and ways they can they can take to get it done very quickly in between. Because let's be honest, the the next flight is probably not taking off for at least an hour, so it's it's definitely time. Hey, them niggas got time. If they can pick up that trash, they can spray them seats. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you picking up them cookie wrappers and all that other crap you doing? Y'all can spray, spray the seat. seat. <laughs> now, if they wet or not, I mean, let the passenger deal with that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I well, would rather let, let, that let, knowing that is look. Well, as long as I know, <laughs> at least I know you made but, some type of effort. So, do you know though? You walk in, you see your seat where you gonna automatically assume that it if, was clean. Okay. To be fair, okay. Put it this way: Have you been to a restaurant before? Right. I've the seen, table was wet. That's different. Listen, listen, listen. I've seen a wet spot on a table. Right. That's weird. If I saw that somebody literally wiped the whole table off. And the seat, and it's a little damp. I'm like, okay. You see what you, you just tried. said? You said that you saw. You walk in after this plane has been sitting for however long, and this seat is wet. In this time, you gonna have something to say about it. You could. You're not gonna see me in a wet seat. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I see the seat, the armrest is like a little damp and all that. I'm like, okay, they must have just sprayed this whole area down. You see that you face? Know? You see that face down there? I see you. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a, I, mean, well, that's all, I, ain't got, I ain't gotta deal with it. I don't have to deal with it. She does <laughs> in the next three weeks or whenever to help take a kill wipe wipe on your own seat, you know. Oh, I mean I already whenever I travel, I always travel with Clorox wipes in a little bag. Mm -hmm. Like I I travel with my little um Lysol spray because mm -hmm. I ain't sleeping in nobody's bed until this Lysol down. <laughs> Oh, mm. uh, you sprayed a hotel bed? Absolutely. 
I don't care how fancy the hotel is. I always have issues with. I don't think people clean. I ain't gonna lie, I'm pretty bad at that. Uh, yeah, I don't spray. The, I don't spray the. the I heat. always bring the necessary I, 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 things. I yeah, I've never sprayed a bed. I, I always know. bring the necessary things, but I never use them. I wipe down the toilet because I know I I want to sit on yeah, it. Yeah, I'll spray but. that in the handle. <laughs> so, the I pull the sheets back to see if it's bugs. Oh, I mean, when you pull the sheets back, you look. They usually right. white, so yeah. You'll see them, but oh, you can look at the mattress. Sheets, yeah, I I need to see the mattress. <laughs> I mean, well, bed bugs was a was a major thing, yeah. and that's what and that's where they live on the mattress, not on the sheets. Yeah. So. When I, when that yeah. was going on, I would do that, but now I don't like because. But is it not still going on? I just feel like people aren't talking. They're about not it. talking about it as much. Yeah. yeah, and you know how that go. Like you start to get lax, as mm-hmm. things start. even now, like yeah, people, people are very lax now. Lax. I find but, myself sometimes like I'll get halfway, I'll get out the parking lot and be like, oh shit, I didn't put hand sanitizer on when I get back in the car, mm-hmm. and you know, like oh, so like even I'm starting to get a little lax about stuff like that. It's easy to get comfortable. When this first started, like if I went grocery shopping, I would bring stuff in and it would immediately come out of boxes, come out of packages. If it couldn't come out, then I was wiping everything down with Clorox. It is what it is now. <laughs> and it's just kind of like, well, whatever. Right. I, I, was, I wouldn't even go to the grocery store. I got my groceries delivered. And when they got here, I sprayed them. Mm-hmm. Like, I canceled my ship membership right before all of this. And I refuse to go back and get it. <laughs> yeah. So are you still, you're not doing no more You going out and you're not wiping it down either? Wait, say one more time? Oh, Lord, you in the internet. <laughs> I said, so you're not doing any of that anymore? I'm not doing what anymore. Oh my god! You're not wiping your stuff down anymore, or like. Oh no, <laughs> no, nah, bro. I as soon as I get in the car, I I use hand sanitizer. Mm-hmm. Um, because I'm more so. I'm I'm just more so focused on me touching my face after being out in public. Yeah, that's that's about it. Like it's it's a it it can live on surfaces, but it's a very, 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 very low chance that you're going to catch it off like a popsicle box or some shit like that. Right. Like, it's it's very low chance. I'm more concerned about the fact that I touched the grocery cart the entire time I was walking through the grocery store. Yeah. I then touched my car handle, right, to open the door. And then I touched my steering wheel. Mm-hmm. And then I scratched my... I like, like I'm I'm thinking about stuff that way, not necessarily like what I'm bringing in, cause yeah, I don't I don't think nothing's really happening on this thing. Yeah, I'm more so scared about touching my face. Mm-hmm. Well, it's more in order. So I saw an advertisement with it was um it was masks for like the bride and the groom. And it was like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, this is, really, is this really what we on from here on out? Yeah. Like, you got to have a, a white satin mask with stones on it for your wedding. Like, I just. Uh, I How do you like do the it. first kiss? <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> oh. That's horrible. Hey, but they was, they was wearing those bedazzled masks when they first started popping, so. Yeah, yeah, what a time to be single because I'd be pissed off if yeah. I had a wedding plan this year. Like, yeah. Man, but you, gotta, you, <laughs> you gotta think about it though, like, but we still have no no cure, so I mean, if you had a plan next year, we don't know what next year or the year after looks like, so if you plan on getting married, this could be the way you have to do it now. I just think people should just go ahead and get married, I'm, but I'm also not a fan of like real huge weddings. So if if it's really just you and him and y'all want to go go to the justice of the peace, go have a little nice small wedding oh, well, yeah, and right. whenever you're able to have a big reception. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe. I mean, at the end of the day, if, if, if to be one, you know, to be wedded is what y'all want to do, then yeah, that, that's all that matters. To be honest, that's I mean, the conversation right there. 
because do you really want to be married or do you want to have a fly ass party? Yeah. Ah, yeah, there it is. There it is. Right. There it is. There. Uh huh. Niggas want party. I said what I said. Uh huh. That that is the conversation. Yeah. Like what one do the other. <laughs> but we're talking about the time. You're not saying that you can't ever have it. But it, so, are you gonna wait until you can have both at the same time? But yeah. I also think I also think like the justice of the peace thing doesn't have to be your alternative either. You can just say like, "Oh, I'm gonna have something small with 15 we're not doing, people." We're not gonna do the backyard. Right. right, and it could still be nice. That's this yeah. from but here, let's here, go to the courthouse. But here's like, the thing, though. There's an in-between that we're missing. <laughs> but no, but the, here's the thing, though. If you still want this big party and this little backyard shindigs doesn't suffice for you, you're still going to want your big party. We're not doing both of those. I mean, it may or may not. If the backyard shindig turns out to be a really nice time, a beautiful yeah, you moment, might be satisfied. and, and um, a year goes by, you might be like, yeah, you know what? I ain't even worried Your about priorities that. priorities change as time goes by. Yeah. How many times do you hear people who have small ceremonies? I think one of our friends said That's that. I don't even know why you're making that face. That's real life. Or did anything no, it, it didn't matter. It is. After you've all, been married for so long already, you're kind of like, oh, let's put this money towards something else. First of all, if that was the, if, that was, if, if your priorities change so much, this right here, this pandemic will change your priorities. And let's put some mon- this money to something different and just go to the justice of the peace. That's a priority change. I feel like the justice of the peace is an extreme. Like we can do something in the backyard or in a courtyard and we don't have to be in this brown, ugly ass courtroom. Like, so just because you go to the justice of the peace doesn't mean like th- that doesn't mean that you also can't have a ceremony or a little party in somebody's that's nice true. backyard or something yeah, like that. that's what I'm so saying when, like so when when I said justice of the peace I'm not saying that you have to go inside of a courtroom you can only be married in that aspect what I'm saying is you you don't you take away the option of having some huge extravagant wedding and you have something small and simple that was the intent behind what I was saying okay I got you yeah so I mean I think that's fine if you really want to be married something small and simple and like me and Aaron was saying, a, a year from now, it might not even matter to you anymore because now y'all are living your life. So it's but, like, well, whatever. But here's the yeah, thing, we though. For our 10th anniversary or our 10th yeah, anniversary. But, this but more to my point, though, the, I said the conversation would be, do you really want to be married or do you want to have a fly-ass party? I, I said that because I think some people truly don't necessarily want to be married. They just oh, want sure. that fly party. So their priorities aren't yeah. going to change change later on because oh, they want to be married to begin all with. they wanted was the fly ass party, party. Mm-hmm. Yeah. that's true for some people good point oh yeah <laughs> but who knows but which one you want though all right me i came with the idea with the justice of the peace i <laughs> i'm not a so i don't need all the attention all either way yeah, like give me something. I'm the type of person that will come back and be like, "Hey guys, I did a thing. Got married uh, every weekend. <laughs> Crazy story. I'll, I'll have to tell you about it one day." I was so. actually like wrap my mind around uh, nation weddings. I was against for a long time because I just felt like everybody would be able to come, but I'm getting more comfortable with that idea. And some people are usually smaller, anyway, so. I like that idea now. So yeah. these things can change. Yeah. Because before I was like, oh, you know, big glamour, whatever. And not so much for the attention, but like I like the idea of the party also. Like let's let's do both. Let's come together, but let's have everybody here. Let's have a great time. So yeah. for sure. I mean different strokes, different folks. <laughs> so yeah. So- so, so uh, yeah, you want to go to the justice of the peace? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> no, I, like, no, I, I don't have a problem with the wedding. Like, I'm definitely down for a wedding. But all I, my thing is, like, in this time, you know, if if we can't have it the way that we both maybe envision it, I'm not going to get my, I'm not going to have stuff. We might as well just go get married and then use that money for a different purpose. Like, it's other things that we can do to, and, and that money can be used for in a, a better fashion like i'm not gonna go and just spend so the wedding that we were probably planning let's say it cost ten fifteen thousand but now we're gonna go spend five six thousand to to kind of do something like for what like 
you might as well just go get married yeah. and take that money and go buy a house or you know go do something else because it's not like it's not what we wanted and are we really going to be satisfied now if we can somehow figure out to be satisfied in this with this with this quarantine situation and, and make it work then okay but are you really going to be satisfied because in your mind you painted your, this picture of your your fantasy wedding or your fantasy day or your fantasy event. Like Serena said, you want everybody there. You want it to have, like you have this in your mind of what you want that day to be. And most people only want to do it one time. So now it's like, if I can't have that, I might as well just get something else I want. I want property. I want equity. I want to build wealth. I want to do something else. So let's go put this money there. Just my thoughts. So let me ask a question since we're, we're it seems like we're parked here. Would you take... <laughs> Do you need a ring to get married? What? Do you need a ring to get married? Oh, that's a that's a solid question. I, and, 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 there's, and there's a detail. Well, not so detailed. How else is it going to happen, girl? Yeah. You don't have yeah. to have a ring to get married. You don't have to have a ring. I, well, this is, a, as an individual, yes, I would like a ring if it's not some big, giant diamond because that's not where you are financially at the moment. Fine. So, it's a ring can be any type of ring, but would I like a symbol of our union and your affection and to know you went out and picked something that you thought I would like or love? Absolutely. Would you be okay with a gold band? No. If that's all you can that's afford. literally all you can afford. No. Sure. Yes. But if you just, but if I know yeah, that you just being a lazy, yeah. penny pension nigga, absolutely but not. Here, but, here, but here's a question. I have a, a follow up to that. If it's supposed to be a symbol of our love, that's all it is, just a symbol, and not our love, then all, all it is is for, you to, for people to know that you're married. So what's wrong with this gold band? It's just a symbol. It doesn't define our love. I hate you. It's just a symbol. Well, 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 well. So, now, so, now, so let's say I make $100,000, but I'm going to get you two kids. Now, okay. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. Well, here's the thing. What if I don't Outside of everything else, I don't like gold bands. I don't like gold jewelry. To a, a that's silver band. I don't get you a platinum band or whatever. It's that's, a band. That's you not what I usually wear. Okay, but you wear a but you wear you wear jewelry. So it's either platinum, sterling silver, white gold, whatever, but it's just a band, no diamond. I mean the reality of it is that's probably sterling, what you're gonna wear on a day to day basis. Sterling basically. silver. <laughs> Oh Lord! Oh, you got a problem? I <laughs> said, hold the motherfucking phone. Whatever you <laughs> wear, ring for the white gold. No, I'm saying she said I don't wear gold. Okay, whatever it is that you wear, whatever, oh. mat whatever material that you wear without the diamond, <laughs> don't play. The reality of it is, is that that is probably what you would wear on a day to day basis. But it's about what you like. So. So if somebody bought you some shacks instead of some Jordans, but you just want some shoes, you gonna wear the situation. Shack? That's a totally different situation. That's a different yeah. situation. Yeah. You like what you like. But, you yeah. like but, you but like. wait, but wait, wait. Okay, so you're talking about you like what you like. Do you, let me see both of y'all hands, because ain't neither one of y'all wearing rings every day. So that's not what you. you it's not a ring. Okay, it's look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, okay, okay. So now I'm that's about, that. Jeff, I'm about to light your ass. That's, that, that's, 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 what, that's, what, that's what she like. But we're not talking about so you so that, this this di that, 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 that diamond that diamond that you talking about I like what I like that's not no I like what I like that's what you had in your mind that you wanted her question was no no you can see uh, you can see a diamond engagement ring and like it but if I ain't engaged and I'm not gonna buy it so it's not that I didn't so, want it so, I just didn't well, have a ring well, well, let, let me let me let me ask you let me ask you let me ask you absolutely nothing wrong with a man actually showing his affection if it's something he can afford. Am I saying break the bank just so you can buy this big stupid ring for a woman not who might that's not, not even appreciate it if she don't even wear jewelry? That's not the question. It's about what it symbolizes. That's not the question. So if it's about what it symbolizes, why does it have to have a diamond? But it also symbolizes you doing something nice for her. Again, I could do something nice why? without a diamond. Well, is is a gold band so, not something so nice? If that's what she wants, then that's doing something nice for her is getting her something that she wants. But I think that it, yeah, I guess my listen, view is yeah. what she wants is yeah. to be married. Yes, 
No, that's... she could. But two things can be true. She can want to be married, and she can want a diamond engagement ring. One or the other. Right, like but, a lot of times but, when we talk about stuff, we act like it's got to be one or the other. But here's the thing: it's my proposal. If, if I'm the man, it's I'm my not... proposal. It's my proposal. I went and got what I wanted to give to you. It's my proposal. You can say you yes or no. It. But it's Are you, what so I'm you saying. You only get engagement rings that you like. That's not I, how that's, that's but, not I, how I, but I'm getting the I'm getting it. I'm I'm going to get it. So whatever I go and get is what I felt that I wanted to give to you to show my love. Okay. Why does it okay. have Why does it have to have a diamond? I just want to know why does it have to have a diamond? That's all fine and well. Okay, so if you do that, wait, 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 wait. If you do that, and then she goes and she thanks you. And whatever, whatever. But then she go get a ring that she like and wear that instead. Are you mad or is yes, that cool? Because that's not the, yeah. that's not what that's not what I that's not what I gave. But to that's you. what she wanted. That you knew she would like. But that's not what I gave to you to represent but my you love. Knew, but but you knew bought what something wanted. that you knew she didn't like, but you bought it because you liked it. Right. First of all, we're not saying I purposely go win. Go, well, since you gotta say, uh, Tiff, because I think no, it, I'm it, just it saying I point. think that it's getting off. Like, yeah, base, you, like, it's missing the point. Okay. So, no, our rebuttal to your point is no. That. I don't think that the intent behind it is that okay. I'm going to only solely go buy this ring just because this is what I want her to have. Like I don't. I I, I would hope that's not the case. I would hope that you would say like, hey, whatever she wants, you, you can go get that as a man, right? But what if that's a diamond ring? But what if that's not possible? Well, we already said if he can't understand. afford it, that's if fine. That, if, you can't, if that's something you can't afford and we're in love when you propose, you couldn't get me that. But then I'm that brings yes another you. question. Yeah, we already said that that was fine. Then that brings yeah. another question. So it's okay only in this realm. So you can get out. I'll, I'll accept this gold ring, ring as a token of your love only because you can't afford a diamond ring. But as soon as you can afford a diamond ring, you better go get me some diamonds. No, I didn't say that at all. No. That's, no, what, that's, not, like, that's what no. you're saying. No. Guess what? You know what, what typically happens in a lot of cases? Some couples, they get married like in their young 20s. They're both yeah. maybe out of college and they're both broke, right? The mm -hmm. woman gets like a really small ring or something like that 10, 15 years later when they have their anniversary or they renew their vows, the woman gets a much better ring, but that's, that was the man's choice to give her something much better because yeah. he felt like she deserved better and he felt like that's what he wanted to give to show his token of love and appreciation. Not because right it was back. something she demanded, but more so it was because, okay, hey, I can afford more, I'm going to give you more. Exactly. I think that was but getting that's, lost. But that's lost. not what she's saying, though. <laughs> But I think I think was getting That's, lost. I don't think she was saying, saying he, it was more so about saying that if you just, everybody do different. something better for me and you know that I want something or like something and you can actually do it. Why wouldn't you do it? I think that's what's getting lost in what but we're that's saying. What, I'm, what we're saying is that if you can and you legitimately can, because because you like what you like and you want what you want, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But. Fine. If I'm willing, I'm willing to compromise. If you can't, Jeff, get that. that's like if it's your birthday and I go out and buy you a Kate Spade bag, nigga. For what? I bought you something <laughs> you that I liked. <laughs> she's it's, not, it's she's not, she, you understand no, what I'm she, saying? Listen, I'm showing you my token of appreciation listen, for you, and I care listen, about you as a friend. Listen, but listen, you don't listen, want it. But listen to what Tiffany is saying. You are taking it to the the guy buying what he likes. She she's she's not talking we, about that. We answered that already. But, I don't no, know. Listen, if you no, you're not you listening. Have you're shirt. No, you are. You all, <laughs> Tiffany. Have they responded to the last thing you just said? I they did. have not responded yes. to that. We said that I fine. Did. We oh, said that fine. The last thing she just that. said was okay. <laughs> what you all are saying is that it's okay if he is not able to do it at this time. But once he started making some more money, then he needs to feel compelled to go get it to get more. No one ever said he needs to be hey, That's the last thing she just asked. Said, no, no, no. What I said is, that, is what Wait, wait, Tiffany, is that the last, last thing you just asked? Yes or no? That was the gist of the point. Thank you. And you all have not I responded answered, to that. I answered it Aaron very well, what, I, what I've seen happen, but it's you. That does not answer that, that question. I'm well, well, hold on. Her. What she said was that he feels like the twenty years that she years, they deserves get more because he's making more. So if either he does, does or he doesn't. If he doesn't feel that way, that's a different story, and that's between them. If she want to keep her ring, and don't I, and I keep think, it. That's I'm not that's saying a woman fifty years down the line. Well, that's what she's saying. Oh, so here's. 
I'm okay, not so saying just, 15 years down the line she <laughs> should demand a bigger and better right, ring. Exactly. I'm not saying that. There, there's what your I answer. Think it was typically you see that maybe the man might say, "Hey, I've done very well. You've been by my side this whole time. I appreciate you. I'm going to get you a better wedding ring." So, direct question. I, I, I got it. Can I get a direct question? question? Direct question. <laughs> If he does not, once he starts making more money, if he does not come to the conclusion on his own, hey, I want to give you a better ring, does that change anything for you? No. Aaron? No. Yeah, after 10, 15 years, who cares? Yeah. That's the question she was asking. That's all she asked. You went to this scenario that has nothing to do with I nothing. Did. She I gave did. you a First scenario that typically happened. She gave you a scenario that typically happens. But it but has nothing to was, do with nothing. It did. It was, it was the exact scenario that y'all just gave. Right. But, okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that you can sure. to a nigga for 10, 15 years. <laughs> I, you I might just, care about something other than what's on your finger. Yeah, at that point. You hope so. I just think it's dope. If you don't marry somebody, you should care about more than the ring to begin with. And after 15 years, like, I, I seriously doubt that matters to you. I don't, I don't even know why we having this, why are we having this conversation? Because that's the <laughs> problem. Because we were parked on um, the <laughs> marriage conversation, so I, I just had some questions. <laughs> I, mean, I think that's a valid question, though, and I, I, I honestly believe people would do, wouldn't, a lot of females, and I'm not saying if you So know, it don't matter what we would have said. But I don't, I don't think a lot of females would have been okay if a nigga opened up the box with just a gold band, period. I think that you have to like niggas got to know who they're proposing to, and you exactly. have to you, you gotta speak to your audience. So if you don't have that type of girl <laughs> who is going to be like, oh, okay, cool, we could just go get some tattoos, and I'm okay with that. Like I just I'm just trying to be with you. If you don't have that girl, then you probably want to get her what she want or rethink <laughs> who you're marrying. There you go. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. If y'all if y'all don't see eye eye on that, then that's that's cause to pump the brakes. Like, for me, like, I don't think rings are that big of a deal. So, like, if you give me the option between, and it doesn't have to be this or that, but just for the sake of this argument, like, hey, I can get you this $30,000 ring, or I can get you the house of your dreams. Oh, we could get some tattoos. You can keep that, that ring. Like, maybe one day we'll get something different, but give me the house. That ring means nothing. I know I love you. You know you love me. We can go get some tattoos or some. Any man that approaches is going to know that I belong to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, moving along here so we can uh, complete the show. <laughs> uh, so, Kamala Harris and Joe. Uncle Joe. I think how y'all feel about it. I'm yeah. fine with it. Uh, I I am going to, you know, as they fuse together, obviously they're gonna have to revamp and combine some of their thoughts because they differed on some things. So I'm ready to start paying attention to what they come up with together and see where their stance is, um, hear them out, see if they've changed some things. My whole thing about that announcement is people driving me crazy with all this negativity, all this stuff to say about their past. And, you know, one, with that being said, do you, do you believe that people can't change? Um, two, with that being said, are you not going to hear them out? Like, it's just immediately everything went nuts and everybody started bashing. Like, I think I saw more people bashing it than speaking positively about it. And that, that really bothered me, you know, um, yeah. especially about her. Yeah, especially about her. And there was a lot of, you know, she, she did this when she was ADA and she did that. And, you know, people, some people who are in that profession have some valid points. When you sit at a certain, and I, I know I'm jumping ahead, but I just want to get this out real quick before we beat that. When you sit at a certain level, a lot of stuff you just sign it and you're trusting the people underneath you to to do it and that they knew what they were talking about. So, yeah, while she may have had something to do with some of the stuff, it's like you can't just be like, well, she she put a bunch of niggas in jail and she did it. One, I'm sure everybody wasn't innocent. Two, 
she was she was at that level where her name is on everything, so it doesn't mean that she directly did it. So let's hear her out now, see what her plan is, and go from there. Like, don't just immediately come in like, oh, this is some bullshit, she's trash. Like, that, that has really been bothering me on some petty, I'm about to un- unfollow some niggas. I don't even want to be on my timeline anymore. <laughs> Aaron, you look like you had some, oh, both of y'all. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, no, go ahead. Because I, I, in a minute, by November, I might not want to talk about politics. I've been talking, I feel like I've been talking about it for four years. So go, go ahead, Tiffany. I have a very simple view of it. Um, I don't understand why everybody is jumping so deep into who he picked. For me, he could have picked Bowles or the Clown, and they could have got up there and did the Dougie at <laughs> every like rally, and he still has my vote. Like, I mean, just, like for me, I don't. I know it sounds crazy, but like I don't care what the issues are. I'm voting against Trump. Right. So I don't I don't give a fuck to be completely <laughs> honest. What, what they get the up there, like what they get up there and say, because people are like, oh, I want to know the issues and mm-hmm. I just need to know. For, like yeah, for, for, line. What? Like, for, line. for what? Like for what? Why is it that Democrats are always so, so hard on their candidates and Republicans are like, oh, cool. This is the Republican candidate. I'm, I'm, a with, it. I'm yeah. with the shit. Yeah. Now, if you're a moderate, cool. I understand how that, because you're a swing voter. So you may go this way. You may go that way. Get it. If you are a staunch Democrat, that's your candidate. Vote for him. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a very, very simple. Like, why you got to make this harder than what it has to be? I think people want to talk to hear themselves talk. I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. It sounds cool to be like, oh, everybody's trash. Everybody's oh, a political a pundit right now. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't even know anything about uh, any of these people. So what you hear, hear say, like, shut the fuck up. I think yeah, they, they, you know what they used to say? They said, uh, opinion is like an asshole. Everybody got one. Yep. And that's, that's yeah. all it is. Americans have gotten to the point where we're so entitled. It's like, it's almost just it's not it's disgusting mm-hmm. like i because I, I keep having to remind people when i talk about this like keep in mind like while you bashing the idea of going to go vote in the first place it's a lot of other countries they're stuck with whoever's in control until they die like mm-hmm. it is what it is and then when they die maybe their son or daughter or whoever might take over and do the same thing for the next 30 40 years like you can't you can't go over in like North Korea and speak against the government or say what you want. Everybody's taking this freedom of speech and they literally like running with it. And I think that's giving everybody to go ahead and be like, I'm about to find something bad and be the contrarian because I want people to listen to me and I want to say mm-hmm. something different than what all these other fifty thousand people are saying because I don't want to agree with everybody else and be a sheep. It's not mm-hmm. being a sheep. It's called unity, and I don't think people know what that means anymore. They don't. And it gets to the point where. We're so entitled as Americans. We're more so, we're solely focused on, well, what are you going to do for me? Well, I'm black. What are you going to do for the black community? What are you going to do for the teachers? What are you going to do for the doctors? What are you going to do for the kids? What are you going to do for this? Everybody wants their time, but that's not exactly what a president does. A president fixes problems on a macro level, which takes me back to my point. If you really gave a fuck about your community that much, you take your black ass out and vote. When I say black, I mean black and brown and white, whoever mm-hmm. lives in the urban communities, you take your ass out and vote for the people on the local level because they have more of an effect on your community than the president does if you really gave it to them. So my thing is like, cut cut the shit. And to be honest, none of us could be politicians if somebody was able to bring up some bad shit you said Hello. about somebody. Yep. Hello. Everybody, and I, I kind of agree with the statement that, okay, black people can't be racist because we can't systematically oppress other people. Right. But you can make racist comments. You can have racist thoughts. You can't, we don't have the power to like systematically oppress another group. But if you if your ass got caught saying something racist on camera. They define it as uh, not racist, prejudice. Mm-hmm. Black people can't be racist. We can be prejudiced. Right. Everybody can be caught, perfect. If you got caught saying something prejudiced, somebody pulled up a video of some shit you said 20 years ago, 
Yeah. We all we all got that. So what I hate about using things in the past, um, is that like it might have been okay during that time. It just leaves like, no you completely yeah. ignore whatever that person did in between. Yeah. You're judging the past off today's rules and not taking into account what was okay back then. Mm-hmm. And you're and also you're not taking into yeah. account like I was that person at that time, but I've been taught and I know better now. Yeah. And you give hard. people because I made this one decision or these decisions that potentially hurt people in the past. And and, and don't get me wrong, like how they did Hillary, she made decisions that hurt black men in a very grave way. But if that's no longer her belief, and she has a proven track record to show that that's no longer her belief, right. like at what point do you say enough is enough? Right. And I that's guess the it. argument for those people who still have family members in jail, and I understand that, is yeah. that enough isn't enough until this person is out of jail, until these laws are reversed. But, I mean, as a society, we have to keep forging forward. Yeah. You can't just sit there and be mad and, and, and stay, do nothing. stay stagnant. Like, you have to do yeah, Thank you. I think the biggest thing is that, you know, for those people, I guess the, the question I would ask is, well, what is your solution? Like, what do you want? What do you want to be angry? Yeah, like, what do you? Okay, right. so you don't want this person. Cool. Like, I'm gonna take this, care of myself. This, like, this is this is the person that we have, <laughs> and this is the best opportunity that we have because what we currently have, it ain't it. So if this person is not it, then that's cool. You don't you don't agree with this? Yeah, they made some decisions, but just like Tip said, you made some decisions and said some things back in your past that. You don't agree with now. You don't believe. You change. You evolve. I'm not in politics. When, when I met you, you know what I'm saying. You didn't even vote, and now you voted. When I met you, you didn't believe in going to school, and now you just got your degree. Like a lot of things change. People evolve. People grow. So it's like we allow ourselves to do certain things, and we allow certain uh, things to happen with our family and friends. But when it gets to a different level. It's like, oh, no, no, you got to be perfect all your life. You could have never said this. You could have never done that. You could have never believed this. And that's not that's not even possible. So uh, the, typically what I do is I ask, well, that's fine. We're not going to argue about it. But what's your solution? I mean, solution. Right. It's like, oh, uh, well, you know, we're going to put Kanye in. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> this, this takes me back to the selfish American comment that I made earlier. Right? My thing is, I think everybody should really sit down and evaluate or assess within themselves. Why are you voting as an individual? Are you voting because you need things to get better for yourself? Or are you voting because like, oh yeah, I want to see a change in my health care. I want to see a change in the education for my kids type of thing. I am a strong, like I'm really, really into voting. And over the last what eight ten years nothing has really had an impact on my life as an individual mm-hmm. so i think americans should overall stop being so fucking selfish yeah like vote, vote for the masses stop like, and think about the little guy for a change right think about the people who if trump got rid of obamacare that's what 20 million people that's about to lose health care guarantee you with somebody in their family at least give, one person. Give a, shit. Mm. give a shit about those people, right? Or the inner city kids, right? You might live in the suburbs. Your kids might go to private school. But why? That, that's the moral thing, right? In my mind, right? Why don't you care about the kids who don't have the same advantages that your kid has? Why aren't you voting for those things? Because nobody's going to take it away from your kids. It's just going to add more to the pot. Are you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't... But that's People in the same token. Selfish. But that's in the same token of, of those that are in those positions and not getting anything and you know, nothing is being done for them. And it's like, well, what am I voting for? You know, uh this candidate has gotten gotten in, they haven't done nothing for me. You What's know, it? this candidate hasn't this candidate has gotten in, they haven't like I'm still here. Like, nothing's still, gonna change. We still, yeah, we still get we still have no jobs. We still like the, the police don't come. We still like we still don't and then you ask that person, well, do you vote locally? Because that's what changes that. Right. You got more, way more access to people who <laughs> live in your city. Yeah, that's what changes that. Like, the, the, president the president has nothing to do United States. with you locally. The president of the United States can't, well, he can probably. What I'm saying is, is Detroit Public Schools on the president's radar? No. 
you need to talk to the people who are over the Detroit public schools and the people who are in our local officials within your city. Those are the people you have access to more than you think. I have a question for you. I'm going to look at that while I'm asking you. Um, you all heard, heard of an alderman, right? Like, are those still a thing? In Chicago. They don't, we don't have them here. They just never been a thing. The crazy thing is the reason that I heard of that is living single, but because that was a Maxine. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> but it was like a movie about one too. Like what is a what is it? An alderman. An uh, alderman or is basically like you're over certain districts, and then like so you're the liaison for this district for city council. Mm -hmm. So basically, like a, a glorified neighborhood watch yep. person. <laughs> I mean, you got, you got a little power. Though. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Do we? You said they are in Chicago. Mm -hmm. People that's got so much to say. Guess what? They also not doing. They're also not being active in their communities. Wow. I got into it with somebody at work you about go, that. You yesterday. can go apply for a, um, a local official position. You can yeah. apply for city council. It's a lot of stuff you could do. People can don't want to do anything. They want to talk I'm about afraid. the people who are doing things because they feel like their ideas are better and they've never implemented a thing. Yeah, never tried to execute. You, you, you never, never accomplished you actually make an effort to implement something, you're going to realize how hard it is. Correct. Mm -hmm. And how you are not it's only over black through. people. This is what gets me sometimes. But well, we need to figure out how the candidate is what they're going to do for black people. But this candidate is not only a black uh, a president of black people. There are hundreds of thousands of other people and in this country. Mm -hmm. Right. The president works for the greater the greater good of everybody. That's the whole goal, right? Not, Not just saying that we, we need to be overlooked. Right. That's why I, I hate I hate when people sit there and say, oh, Obama did more for uh gay people than he did for blacks. Guess what? <laughs> Probably more. It's, it's, it's a ton of, of gay people out yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> and Probably they organize well. Yeah. They, 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 they can actually get on one page and, and get on a court and get on one accord, get on one page, have one agenda and push it. This is why they're getting they have gotten this far. Gay people who are one man, one style. Yeah. Um, what? Michelle, Michelle Obama's becoming documentary. Mm -hmm. It's on Netflix. I've watched it twice. Because I've heard people complain about what Obama didn't do when he was in office and all this other nonsense. She brought it up in there. She was like, it was basically like a, a, a kick in the chest from black people. You went out and voted for a black president, but you didn't go out and vote for the people to support the black president because our government is made of checks and balances. So when he got in there and tried to make all these things happen, guess who was in there to tell him no? He was men with opposition. The same reason how Trump is able to run for president again and was technically impeached. If people really understand how our government works, then they might actually go out and make some moves instead of just sitting at home talking shit on social media. It they, they, didn't, they didn't go to that class. That was a the class they skipped. They sure didn't. I'm not going to lie. That wasn't my favorite class, but... I, I mean, love now we old enough. To, you need to you need to learn something. Google yeah. you Google everything else. Hell, you, know, you can you could watch a, t a television show about a drama about politics, and they'll tell you something. You learn a lot. <laughs> like, <laughs> you learn a lot. You don't want to sit there through CNN or whatever. You can watch something, a show like what was wow. that show with Keith and Sutherland? I forgot, but. Oh, anyway, they they have this 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 survivor. Survivor. Oh. Like you can watch something like that and get that information. Google <laughs> like, has people gotta have critical thinking skills though <laughs> to differentiate between what's real and what's just for television. And Listen, some people don't have that. You go to Google Images and type in U.S. government structure. They'll give you a grid. All types of diagrams come <laughs> up and let you know about the checks and balances of our government in one picture. People don't know to Google that though. Uh, it's oh, not right. I'm not saying right. that's right. You can Never, look man. up Pornhub. You can look up how the <laughs> government works. But when you start having these type of conversations with people who like have have these strong opinions, then it's like, I mean, but I don't even really care. Well, wait a right. minute now. That's a it comment. Don't, it, don't nothing change. It don't affect me anyway. Nothing changing in my head. Until somebody close to them gets affected. Same way with COVID, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody gets COVID. 
to somebody close to you dies or you yourself get sick. But then you're not up to date on your information because I know a lot of people fussing about Kamala and Joe about their their views on prison and crime and stuff like that. But it's like you haven't even taken the time to update yourself on where they stand or the information. But all you know is, oh, this is telling me happened back in, you know, 2010 or 2011 or, or before that. So I'm pissed because 2003, this is what happened. Like, okay, but it's 2020. Are you going to work to educate yourself now and see how it will affect you now or even affect them? Like, no. Oh, like, you right. just want to sit there. Yeah, you just want to sit there and act like you know about something. It's crazy. Yeah. And I feel like if this continues, that fool going to win again. So... No, well, he's doing a lot of um, crazy stuff. I don't know if y'all see what's going on with the post office and how they are getting rid of sorting machines and picking up post off the blue little post office um, mailboxes, taking those away so people can't vote by mail. <laughs> I went to the polls anyway. It's right next door to my house. So, <laughs> Oh, I got to the same one. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm... I'm, I'm I only think, I mean, to be honest, I know COVID changed things, but I don't mess with that. I don't mess with absentee. Like, I'm going in. Everybody, oh, absolutely. I got two legs, and they were <laughs> going in. I think what it was was that they were telling people to register just in case they played some funny stuff, and were trying to, you know, not, not let, not let people in go to in to go to the polls. So that you just wanted to at least have that ability if, you know, it was some funny stuff. I mean, you don't have to put it in the mail. Your car drive to every thought party that you want to go to. It can drive to your 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 uh, city council or not, your, yeah, your city clerk and drop it right into the thing because they have a, a van right outside. So there's there's no excuse. There's definitely no excuse. So of course, still you of course you know always put your absentee application in because you just never know. We don't know where we are, especially with this COVID thing. And in November is definitely gonna count. So. I see that Obama just tweeted that everyone depends on the United States Postal Service. Seniors for their Social Security, veterans for their prescriptions, small businesses trying to keep their doors open. They can't be collateral damage for an administration for an administration more concerned with suppressing the vote than suppressing a virus. Because what has he said about the virus or, or any type of work being put into trying to find a vaccination or a cure. It's all about being reelected. It's like you don't care about the people, you are only concerned about being reelected. And that's why these, you know, other people around here that support him are walking around with no mask on and they they go into places and they 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 cause all this ruckus about oh it's not a man it's it's not a man they don't have to do this. This is just something by the governor. It's not a law and I can walk into this place if I want to. You can't refuse me you can't do this you can't do that and then you turn up sick and it's like well where's the vaccine what are we doing about the vaccine like no you you didn't care about that remember Let or me you see, uh, how powerful this the just the whole power of persuasion i guess i'm trying to say like him at first initially saying that he wasn't with wearing a mask it's ignorant because we're all adults, right? I'm not talking about the kids and what you do because you make your kids do things. But as adults, people really chose to follow him and not wear masks, right? Mm -hmm. So this is the part that I don't give. The COVID-19 virus spreads the exact same way. We've been catching colds every year. <laughs> It spreads the exact same way we've been catching the flu every year. Every time flu season comes around, what do you see? A commercial saying, make sure you wash your hands. Make mm -hmm. sure. It, it's, it's almost to the point where it's like that frustrating because I'm like, oh, so you have enough decency to not cough or sneeze in someone else's face, mm -hmm. right? Because you'll easily like, you know, cough in your, uh, inside your arm, right? You'll easily do that because you want to show enough respect and courtesy for someone. Why is it not the same way with wearing a mask? Because every, it's not- it, Because he it, set that tone. Because it, it's political. They made it political. Right. He That's what I'm it wasn't his idea. It's, if it's it was his idea, he'd have pushed it. 
It wasn't his idea. Somebody else was like, oh, yeah, the CDC and the people that was not riding his coattail was like, this is what we need to do. This is how we, we're going to slow down the transmission of the virus, so on and so forth. Oh, damn, I ain't come up with that. That wasn't my idea. I, I can't ride with that. And the fact that he took the power away from the CDC, these people That's are crazy. professionals who spend their life studying infectious diseases, and you don't know shit from Shinola, and you out here giving briefings? What degree do you have, or what education do you have to support the things that you're saying? You just get out here and blatantly lie. Didn't one of his representatives get on... on uh, do a, a report or something and, and basically contradicted herself in the same conversation it was talking about, I think, uh, going back to school. It's like, oh, we're, we're, gonna, we're not going to do this because the CDC, CDC is saying X, Y, and Z, and that's not right. And then in that same conversation was like, oh, because of the, what the research that the CDC is, 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 is pulled together, we're going to do X, Y, and Z in the same conversation because they're just reading prompts. They, they, it's like they're puppets. Somebody got their hand up there. No, I, what's crazy to me is I don't understand the power he has over people. People who are educated in any other realm in life would be considered like the smartest person in the room. And they're just like blatantly lying for this man. He know where the bodies are buried. Got to be something like that. because You ain't got something on everybody. Sure. But, you got, but maybe so, because everybody around him, he put there. Mm, that's facts. Or they don't want to be the next story, the next well, headline, like so and so got fired. Yeah. So if I if I put up if I surround myself Once with everything, again, so like, like they say, you keep your friends close, put your enemies close. So I'm gonna give you this job, but I know what's good. So you're gonna do what I tell you to do. Or you go on punishment. Like Dr. Fossey, he he was in time out. Any more press conferences. Yeah, I'm putting you in time out. Yeah. All right. Something a little lighter. We've been here for a while. Um, so, um, I guess there's been a little controversy about this new song with, uh, I think it's Megan Thee Stallion and, um, Cardi B. Is that her, is that her name? It's called The WAP, something like that. What's that mean? I don't know what that stands for. I don't know what that stands for. I, I, I ever, I never really got the, the breakdown of the acronym. Can, yeah, can, no, can you all tell me? Can you, I, I don't know. I don't know. What is that? I don't know. I ask. I'm, I'm trying and, to see. You know, I, I don't know. What's the WAP? I don't, I don't know. You know let me, let me Google it. Let me see if I can pull it up. I, I, I don't know. I'm so full of crap. Just I, I, I really don't. Full of it. Anyway. But you all had some, some, some thoughts about that. Absolutely. I, t <laughs> Tiffany loves the song. Tiffany is here for it. Like, so is Soraya. <laughs> what'd you say? It's a bop. I said, so is Soraya. It's a bop. It, absolutely <laughs> beyond it being a dope ass song i just love how like nowadays like women have always been objectified in, in hip-hop and rap music and it's like whatever like how i would always excuse it or explain it away is like well they ain't talking about me like i'm gonna still dance to it but the fact that now women own it and they're like I'm going to talk that shit too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say what I want to say mm -hmm. that is not necessarily socially acceptable as a woman and own it. I'm not even like, I'm going to make a video, a super sexualized video and throw it out for the masses. And I dare you to say something to me. And I love the fact that niggas are up in arms. Man. <laughs> that yeah. like the use of the N word? What? Is that like the use of the N word. Are you saying like taking power over it or something? Um, yeah, no, I won't put that in the same category because, like, <laughs> no, there's some issues there with the N word, though. I use yeah. it. Like, there's like a, a, a historical like significance to that. Right. Yeah, right. I don't really want to like. Yeah, because I really honestly didn't know what the WAP stood for, and I just looked it up, and no, you definitely cannot put those never, two. No you way, know what that stood for. Heard. I, I, I can take a I good guess. I never heard what it stood for. So I, heard I don't song. know. I heard I heard the song, but I never paid that close attention. I guess when they spelled it out, uh, but I, I know what it means. The whole the whole chorus. Have you heard it? You said you heard a clean song? version. You just watched yeah, the video. You only heard the clean version. I watched like fifteen seconds of the video and I cut it off. I just heard yeah. it. I yeah, don't know the how. The video I heard is it. the clean version anyway. Yeah. yeah. I didn't. I, well, actually, I haven't seen the video. Yeah, I, I wasn't heard on Spotify scan or something. Doesn't matter. No, you know what? I actually heard it on what's that anyway, music choice channel, so it probably was. Probably was. 
What you say, Jeff? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, I, I listened to it probably on, like, the Music Choice channel on TV, so it probably was the clean version. Yeah. No, nah, I mean, I like the song, separate and apart from what Tiff said, though. Like, to me, it's just a good song. Like, it has a good beat, a good rhythm. I like the cadence in which they are rapping. Like, the way they compliment each other, like, that shit sounds dope to me. Even if you're not paying attention to the words they're saying, but also, this is the fit. But, <laughs> like, I like the song. Um, and the whole thing about people being up in arms drives me crazy because I'm like, first of all, the sample in the background is from a song from, like, 1990. Did, did we forget that? Like, the whole horse. chance. It was cool when it was whores in the Yeah, house. like, oh, it was cool when Uncle Luke said there's some hoes in this house. But now that they're sampling it, y'all don't like it? Like, I'm confused. Now so that it's that, women doing it. Yeah, well, like, well, well, wait, wait. But well, that goes back to a... That, people complaining. But that goes, that goes back to a statement Tiff said earlier, though. Even though I don't have... I don't care. Like, the song is what it is. I don't, I don't know why people are mad about it. But what Tiffany said earlier about back then it was okay. Is this okay for now? Hell, it's probably more okay now than it was back then. There she go. How? <laughs> Because listen to how graphic so music is now. now. Yeah. Back in the day, like that explicit lyric uh, little thing on the CD was taken serious. Like mm -hmm. you didn't talk about that I stuff. Walk out the store with that. Right. Yeah, if you was under 18. I, I mean, I get what you're saying. Like it's everywhere, but it was very bad. Like very bad then also. Like it probably wasn't as, you couldn't just turn on the radio and hear a lot of stuff that you hear today. I get that, but. It was just as bad back then. But that's more to the point that it's so readily accessible now, which means that everyone, like, you had to know about Uncle Luke, right? You had to, being black, pretty much, for the most part, <laughs> made you aware of who these people were, but they weren't super mainstream, right? <laughs> exactly. Because it was so taboo to be talking about those things. Now, you got Cardi B on the cover of Vogue, Elle, these, cra these dope-ass magazines that are super look. Yeah, she's talking about <laughs> wet-ass pussy. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just a different time oh, now. I hate that word. I, don't, I, I typically don't say the word. I oh, spell it out because I don't like it. But I don't either. It's not I, I did it for a fact. There's no good word for that. Like, but John, <laughs> <Yo. laughs> that's that's I'll say bad. Pop, pop, <laughs> I don't ever have a like. I don't ever have to reference yeah. my own stuff. So like, I don't. I was gonna take it somewhere, but I'm not. Uh, anyway, <laughs> where I think you, you were taking it, it, like I don't. Like, I still what? don't have to say the word. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Like, it'll be she answered, she answered. <laughs> anyway, though, um, yeah, I like the song. I don't understand why people tripping like songs like this haven't been made before. That's true. Like, relax. You know, either you gonna listen to it or you not. Man, all the stuff Foxy Brown and uh, Lil Kim done rapped about. Okay. And now they, now they legends. Right. Come on. Right. Cut it right. Out. Exactly. Not I mean, I didn't, I didn't say I like the song. I really just don't give a damn. But right. <laughs> I'm just saying, worse. I'm sure worse things have been said. Whatever they saying, absolutely. All right. <laughs> what What you gotta say, Jeff? You like it? He ain't heard it. I've listened, but I ain't listened to it like that. <laughs> I felt like we should have listened to this as a group before. <laughs> All here? No. I mean, not oh, on no. the. I'm gonna no. be sweating the whole time. <laughs> Nah. It ain't that bad. <laughs> they just talk like, okay. Yeah, Megan Stallion got this line that says she'll run down on a dude before she let him run her. And I was like, talk that shit, girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, talk it. Ugh. You can Google it's Cardi's whole second verse. Somebody like typed it out on Instagram, but I read it. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. huh? Read it in your professional voice. Uh, oh God, I, I gotta find it. I could probably uh, find no, it. On no, we straight. Mm -mm. <laughs> Cardi <laughs> said she don't cook, she don't clean. But let me tell you, I, tell you how I got this ring. <laughs> and then man just came in immediately with the bars, and I was like, oh my God. 
Nah, we're, we're, we're gonna move right along here. So, we'll read it off air. I'm gonna read it to y'all off air. Nah. I'll read it off air. Why? He can edit it. Go ahead and read it. Hey, edit that. I gotta find it. I ain't got I'm gonna read. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna give y'all a taste. Please, bruh. please. Bruh. She's spitting though. <laughs> Bruh, no. All right, all right. Boston, hey, man, I want uh, you to read. <laughs> Your most professional voice, though. Like, if you were about to call somebody right now. Bruh. Nah. I'll it later. <laughs> you can call Johnny when we done go ahead. Jeff, you are such a dad. Why won't you let her be great? It's no. like, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know the No. Fine. Moving along. You're such a fun sister. Uh... Soraya, you had a, a topic that you wanted to talk about. She do. Teaching old dogs new tricks. I need it. No. <laughs> about teaching old dogs new tricks. <laughs> Jeff trying hard to keep moving. <laughs> Y'all ain't like, keep he muted me. <laughs> Uh, like, ah, 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 yeah, Soraya, that topic. <laughs> All right. Okay. Fine. Um, no, I wanted to ask y'all if it's possible to teach an old dog new tricks. And honestly, this came from something that I've been observing at work, right? So at work, one of the residents, this man probably like somewhere around 60 years old. And it's just so interesting to me to watch, he has he has a crush on one of the other doctors. This man is bald head. The teeth, teeth probably ain't really relevant, but he's bald. But for some reason, when he knew this doctor was coming in, he went to his room. He put on like some shorts, a button up. He had his socks pulled up to his knees, a do rag with the cape, and a fitted hat. And he made a ring out of a dollar bill and put it on his pinky. 60 years old. That's effort. I appreciate it. He kept that. walking back and forth past her office. And I thought to myself, this man is this old. Does he really think that this is going to gather her attention? And she probably maybe like late 30s or whatever, early 40s. But the mindset that this is what I need to do to get this woman's attention. Was, it just boggled my mind. Like, how are you this old and you think that that's, that's the case? And then when she didn't pay him no attention, he got mad. He was pouting around and fussing, didn't want to talk to nobody, snapping at everybody. You're 60 years old. So I had a conversation with him and I'm trying to, you know, get him to realize, like, why are you upset? Like, this is ridiculous. And he changed the subject and all of that. But my thing is, is this something that, I can fix, or is this just it? Like, people with that mentality, you're going to have that mentality to the day you die. This juvenile, childish thought process. And he's done other stuff. I don't want to go into all that. But that's just an example of something I saw yesterday that, like, really blew my mind. The dollar bill ring took me out. Like, I just, <laughs> that <laughs> was like, bruh, you, what? <laughs> I appreciate that, though. The fact hey, that, hey, oh, he hey. told you, sis. No, he would not have. But I'm saying the fact that he, he put that effort, like he did probably the best he thought that he could do. And yeah. I mean, I know it's like for me, it's, it sounds funny as hell. And if I see a dude pull up with the dollar bill ring, like you real weird, sir. And it's making me wild uncomfortable. But I'm laughing at my point and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like I I think that he probably did the best he knew how to do and then the fact that he didn't get the attention for it made him act out in a way of like his feelings were hurt and he, he made his feelings. Right. Yeah, he but you know what? To he know how to if, you, if you break it down to what Tiff is saying, I think everybody does that. I mean, I'm sure everyone everyone has been in a situation where they were attracted some attracted to someone and tried to get their attention and didn't and it made you feel away. Now what he yeah, did <laughs> You do rag with the cape, though. He a wild boy. And you bald head. Why you got to do it now? Go ahead. 
What happened? No, she said. She said. She said. She said that's that's never, said, said, okay. that's ne- that's never happened to her, and I know she fucking lying. <laughs> But I mean, that's just like you said. Like, so we, you, we've all been in that position where you, you, someone that you liked or whatever, and you did something to try to get their attention or get a response, and you didn't get that response, and naturally you upset. Now, what he did is, I think, was pretty much what Tip said. Is like, I don't think it was a juvenile thing. Is is what he thought or what was in back when he was trying to get these little little, little hot mamas or whatever or whatever you want to call it, or 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 it's like she said, it's the best he had, like. I'm gonna give you my best. That do rag probably just came out the package. That probably was a hat that he had Wait. never worn. You said he pulled his socks up to his knees. They was probably his good socks. <laughs> you know what I'm like saying? If you, if you picture what like a 17 year old dude in the hood would wear. First of all, 17 year old dude, 17 year old dude, not looking like that. Like, right. We're not no more. Back in 1993, that's they literally. Wasn't, they wasn't, they wasn't wearing <laughs> their socks to their knees. Maybe he's from California. Start right. around. <laughs> 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 oh, Chris, y'all. Right past you. Huh? What'd you say, Aaron? I said everything she just think? described that he did. <laughs> I'm going to look right past you. And I think that's probably why I need it to be juvenile because to me, like, that's a, that's a juvenile look. Like, that type of behavior would never get well, my attention. Uh, because the way he responded after not getting the attention he wanted was also juvenile. So, mm-hmm. I mean, there's a kind of a lack of maturity there. Yeah. So, at 60, can you change that? Or is that it? Well, I mean, I, go ahead, too. No, go ahead. I mean, if we're taking it from the aspect of what Aaron said, then if it's something more there, then it may not be something that could be changed because it could be a a mental situation where, you know, he could be stuck in a certain place or it could be that he hasn't fully evolved or grown up or whatever. It may not be all his fault or maybe he's done some things in his life to alter his state of mind where he, you know, isn't all there. But in the aspect of, I don't think like, you would walk around today and see an older guy. I don't think you've ever walked outside when we were able to go outside and seen that on a six-year-old man, like, walk, you know what I'm saying, your day-to-day. So that I don't think that's a normal response or a normal thing that you would see every day. So I don't, I don't think that's a normal situation. So I don't think that's a situation where it was like a maturity thing. But that's, that's my point, I guess. Go, well, whatever you label it, my point is, do you think that that's something that someone can work with him on or is that just it? Whatever the reason being, because, and that's why I say, can you teach an old dog new tricks? Whatever the reason being, if you're 60 years old and this is what you're doing, can that be reversed? But is it the, is it the age and though? The only reason why- that's why I'm asking the age. Like, is there a certain age you get to where this is just it or can you, can you evolve? The only, I don't the think only that reason it's why a- I say I think it can be reversed, you have to actually want to reverse it. Yep. It can't necessarily be like, oh, this woman I really like doesn't want me to act that way anymore or wear this or do this, right? It's got to be more so like, uh, I'm not really feeling what I'm doing either. Maybe I should try something different. Mm-hmm. That's the only way it can happen. But I think any, you can literally we'll change the conversation. That ain't what he wants. Anything so. you want, I think at any age, for the most part, you just got to have mm-hmm. the, the drive to do it. Mm-hmm. I completely agree with Aaron because I, I like taking it out of the aspect of the young jitterbug. I think <laughs> that you can teach an old dog new tricks, but that old dog has to be willing to learn those new tricks. Mm-hmm. Some people are legit just set in their ways and they are who they are and they have no intentions of being anything else. So like if the dollar bill ring was what got the girls back in the day, he going to still do the dollar bill mm-hmm. ring today because he knows it works and it's been <laughs> tried and it's been tested however long. And that, that could just be a conversation starter, right? Mm-hmm. So somebody think it's super corny. You get, he could be at a, the belief that you get him to laugh you can get that conversation going and you at least can get your foot in the door, right? But, I mean, most people probably think it's fairly weird. Weird. That makes me think of this on a bigger scale. 
So are you only? Yep, it's gone. Oh God! It happened. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, yeah. like, I think I think I saw it leave because she was like, "Are you only?" <laughs> I roll <wrote> back. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it just leave. <laughs> Bro, this thing is gone. <laughs> I was like, uh, "Yep, it's leaving." Like, <laughs> it might come back while you. <laughs> but yeah, I keep going. I right, catch she, up. Go ahead. She was like, "You only." <laughs> <laughs> oh, got it, got it, got it. The the real problem lies because this I think this conversation can be applied to different things in life, right? Are you only, are you willing to change to improve or are you going to keep your same ways and just say, hey, I'll go talk to these type of women who I know will go for this shit, mm -hmm. right? That applies to everything, right? Mm -hmm. Same way when it comes to jobs and stuff like that, instead of you possibly improving at your craft or learning a new skill or furthering yourself, right? So you can have better opportunities. You like, no, nah, I'm going ahead and apply for this other job over here that does the exact same shit that I'm used to doing mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I know how to do it and that's what's easy to me. Yeah. Not saying he would have got old girl anyway, because obviously he wouldn't have, but I think that's the, that's the mindset. <laughs> and it applies to a lot of different things. Y'all, y'all sleep sleeping on my man. See what happened was he oh. got her he got her attention. She just ain't want to do nothing on the surface level because she was her oh. job. Baby girl was sleeping on him. <laughs> baby, baby, baby girl came back. She came back after hours, and you know she gave him that plate. She saw that dollar ring. She didn't want nobody to know she saw it though. But she couldn't even stall him out and give him any type of attention. Huh? You said what? I said she couldn't even stall him out and give him any type of like just stroke his ego a little bit. She didn't pay him an ounce of mine. <laughs> You used to make rings out of dollars in like middle school or something. I don't remember doing that, but maybe I don't. <laughs> I don't know. It I seems know. like something that would have been done back then. Yeah. My mind was blown when I looked down and saw that the outfit I could have got past, but that ring. <laughs> First of all, that Batman to the cave, no. <laughs> Them socks, no. Why are your spots so high? And and to be honest, I'm gonna be very frank. I don't care what age you are. I'm gonna yeah. look at you even worse. First of all, it's even worse if you're my age doing that silly shit. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, but yeah, I agree in terms of that. Like people, you got a choice to make when presented with an you, opportunity. You to said grow. He, what type of shirt you said you had on? It was like a plaid button up or something, you know. Oh, girl, buy and he some shorts. Twenty nine or two for and fifty for Mr. Allen. <laughs> That might be all he can afford. That's all he got. <laughs> He's trying to no, shut He pouted all afternoon. Think. I had to pull him to the side. <laughs> because his typical behavior that may have worked for him in the past <laughs> didn't work. And he like, well, wait. Oh. I did this before and they liked it. Right. It was a different different crowd. <laughs> know your crowd. Know your audience. <laughs> he ain't know his audience. <laughs> Oh Lord! You ain't saying nothing. What you think? I ain't saying what I had to say about an old dog learning new tricks. Oh, with that part, I mean, I mean, both of what y'all, both of what, both of what you all said was right. I mean, a person has to be willing, but I don't think it has an age limit. Like to be honest, you can be somebody of our age, and they've been in their ways. Shit, I'm very stuck in my ways. Right. So, so uh, you know, they don't. I don't think it has nothing to do with age. It just has a person has something to do with a person realizing, all right, this is not work. It has something to do with a person realizing, like this is not working, and I need to change this. So, <laughs> well, hopefully, everyone is open to growth and learning new things. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> the last thing we can talk about before we get out of here is uh, these babies going back to school. How y'all feel about it? You're really trying to upset me this evening. I think it sucks. I think it's that. I mean, I mean, you don't have to send your school your kid back though. So you do have an option, depending on your household. Yeah, but it sucks that like you got to make that choice. So hey, I have to work <laughs> and I have to send my kid to school to poten to potentially get a life threatening or a death sentence, or they come home and they bring it 
to bring it to the parent or to the grandparents or whoever's taking care of them. It's just a sucky situation. But like, I also understand the flip side. Everybody doesn't have the capabilities to teach their kids at home. Yeah, and, and that's that's the thing because, like, what you said was I got to go to work. So, like, a lot of people were struggling those last few months of school to try to figure it out for their kids and and find somewhere for them to go. Everyone's not in a position to be at home and and have their kids at home or have or have family around that they can send their kids to during the day while they're at school. So. It's just a situation that even if the schools were closed, now what happens is that the kid don't even, they're not in school now because like what, what happens? Like, do I have to, if I'm not working from home, like what does my dynamic look like now? I got to pay for daycare or, you know, I got to, I got to pay for somebody to come sit in the house with my kids. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a situation that's just messed up regardless of the schools being open or not. Because, like I said, at the end of the day, you do have a choice. You don't have to send your kids back, but if that may not be your your ability. Like, you may not be able to not send your kids to school. And now, because of the fact that I, I, I have no other choice, like, I, I can't afford to have someone come here and pay them to be with my kids and, and teach them homeschool while I'm at work. I can't, I have no family around. So, like, in, in was it September? They have to go back to school. Like, this is only how this works. So, it's it's a it's a messed up situation because hopefully they you know do something in this in the schools where they're you know social distancing social distancing the kids and you know and like try to figure it out because it's for some families it's they have no other choice. All factual. Yeah, I, I think it's messed up too. Um I know a couple of people who work in the school systems and right now a lot of them it's still up in the air. They're asking people to make decisions. Nobody's responding. Um, so somebody I know that works for DPS, what she basically said is like, if they don't respond, they're going to automatically enroll them in virtual, <clears throat> um, which, you know, they, they probably should be trying to do that anyway. And that's not necessarily a bad idea, but I think it's going to be a shit show when school starts the <laughs> 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 you was about to say something i answered first but my i i just had a it was a, we had a technical issue because i couldn't hear a word you said sorry oh yeah see oh. it was cutting out for me too yeah never mind <laughs> no if jeff if jeff heard it then then it's good but um, why didn't nobody say hey we can't <laughs> all of them don't stare at me <laughs> Y'all told me it was just me at first. That's why I, I was thought Aaron like, was just gonna like as <laughs> soon as you stop, go so nobody would know. No, nobody said, "Hey, we can't hear you." Good day. I mean, go ahead and repeat it. I, <laughs> it's, I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, I think it's it's yeah, probably the, the like network in the area that she's in because she's been oh. chop, she's been choppy throughout the evening. So yeah. I have. Yeah. What? So is there a reason no one said anything? Y'all <laughs> told me my internet was messed up, so I was like, I have no room to speak. <laughs> so that's Jeff's fault. So I've been able to pretty much hear everything. Right. I, I, like I said, she's been choppy, before. but I've heard this everything she said. Bad. This is the first time that it was terrible. So it was choppy, yeah, but I was able. I was able. To, yeah. So for, for the for the most of the evening, it was fine. Like the recording should be fine. But at yeah. this moment, it was it was bad, and I figured somebody else was gonna say something. But I guess nobody all did. Right. I just thought Aaron was gonna slide in. <laughs> this was gonna be perfect timing. Like, all right. He stops this. Yeah, so I I just think all in all, it's to to uh, put a pin in 
or to I guess to assure where where we are, I think that we all agree it's kind of a sucky situation for um, parents to have to make that decision to send their kids back to school or to do virtual learning. But I mean, unfortunately, it's just a I don't even want to say it's a harsh reality because to say that some people may potentially die because of these decisions is no, that's just not an easy, it's just not easy for anybody. You know what part I don't like about this? I don't like that Trump keeps giving out the statistics saying that 99.5% of COVID deaths have been adults i.e. saying send your kids back to school they're not gonna die they can handle the virus that's not the point once again that selfish american mentality right they're gonna bring the virus back home i've already seen it done with youth they're gonna bring it back home to their parents and or grandparents and possibly kill somebody mm-hmm. like or that. how about those teachers who are older or who have compromised the already, did you hear teachers were writing their own obituaries for god's sakes wow like, first of all, if I got to write my obituary, I'm quitting. <laughs> yeah, I'm going virtual because there's a whole lot of virtual schools popping up. I love a job. I'm not dying for it. Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a whole lot of virtual, virtual schools popping up. I'm just going to take my talents over here and t- 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 <laughs> teach the kids. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, mm, nah, nah. And to, I, I agree with both of y'all. I think that it's a terrible situation, obviously, that some people are, they have to go to work now, and their kids have to go somewhere, which is school, but in a perfect world, which we don't live in, I mean, to be honest, the school should have been the last thing to open up. Because, like, and honestly, if I had children... Because guess where most, I don't care what nobody say, we got some nasty adults, but we got even nastier kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you can't put you can't put responsibility on kids to wear a mask all day long. Hell, a lot of adults don't want to go to the office and wear a mask all day long. Mm-hmm. Two, two things. Adults don't even wash their hands properly. You think kids do? Two things. Have you ever caught a cold or any type of virus from a kid before? I caught like a 24-hour bug from one of my yes. nephews, <laughs> and they took me down, okay? Mm-hmm. It was coming out of both ends. I didn't know what to do. It, it was bad. I mean, took took me down. It took me down so bad. Typically, and uh, tip, this is when we was back in Sprint. Typically, and this is when Vic was a uh, was a uh, manager. You go to work. You can kind of fight through it. Hey man, I need a couple minutes of going to the back to put my head down. You fight through the day. I couldn't see straight. <laughs> Somebody came and gave me a phone. I'm looking at it like trying to repair it. I can't keep got to put my head. I was. I had went to the Why bathroom. I even here? Listen, I went to the bathroom Time to go. like six times, and I had only been there like maybe three hours. You it, two hours listen, ago. I was it was so I was I was bad, baby. Bad kids. They didn't have to catch me. Listen, kids, listen. <laughs> no, kids, you don't want to catch nothing from no child. Oh, but, they been eating after each other, spitting on each other. Oh man. Oh. Listen, you kids are nasty. They're you gross. Wanna, you don't want to catch nothing from that <laughs> like, child. Nothing. Not a thing. I want to say, you said schools, Aaron, you said schools should be the last thing that should open. And I 100% agree with that. But we live in a society where most often people use school as daycare for their it kids. It is. Because I was just about to so, say, if I, have a ch- if I had a child well, right that's now. Well, that's, that's why I said in a perfect world. I'm, right. I'm right. Living that, right. Which is why I understand why a lot of parents are like, I got to go back to work. You know, luckily for a lot of us, okay, we have jobs we can work at home. A lot of people don't have that luxury, mm-hmm. right? You got to physically be at work and physically do work to get paid. But even so, still, but even still, if you like, if you were able to be working from home, depending on what size child you have, if it's not like a daycare or whatever, you got to attend to that kid while you're working. And depending on what your job is, you may not be able to steal away every moment when well, something that's, goes wrong. That's not, that still goes along with my point. Unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. So some people have to physically be at work and their kid has to physically be with another adult while they're at work. Yeah. And school is the free daycare. Yeah. So I mean what you go there, I mean it's not I mean I feel I feel bad, 
for those parents having being having to uh, be put in that situation. But I mean, I'm talking from a health perspective. From a health perspective, I would have if I if I could draw up my own timeline of when things were open, them kids <laughs> be the last. It would be the last. That'd be the last thing to go. Like, because I don't trust you niggas. The virus got to be almost gone for me to put you. For me to put my kid in a crowded hallway, like that Georgia picture, ain't that was no out of mind. And they had the nerve to suspend that kid. They took it back. Basically, the kid tattled. The kid tattled on you. Y'all got mad and embarrassed and suspended the kid. what? Yeah. Wild times, man. Right. Well. And stuff, is, stuff is like okay. They they lifted the suspension. But the of fact that that's your your first thought. They they suspend a kid for taking a picture of what's really happening. Cause you're embarrassed. They're telling the truth. Yeah, you you you're embarrassed. Well, they had no choice. Which but to you should be. I remember what high school hallways look like, and I remember how close, especially in Detroit, Detroit public school. I remember how close we sat to each other. Thirty kids in a classroom. We share lockers. Everybody gonna be sick in twenty four hours. Share lockers. No. Oh yeah, I didn't. And the last thing. Oh. Renaissance was small. Yeah, you know, it was a lot of us. You wanted a locker in that yeah, main hallway. Yeah, you had to that was huge. And it was still crowded. Walking up and down them steps, passing people. Like, and we like mm-hmm. literally this close. But It used people. to be like, you couldn't move. No. Everybody would stop, stand still, chill. School was like a, a, a sport, a sporting event or a concert let out. Like that was the yep. hallway every day. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah, like there's no way for you not to touch neck. somebody or somebody to possibly sneeze on the back of your neck while you're walking through the hallway yeah. or some shit like that. Like, it's not possible. No. But I digress. I want to end on um, that that video I sent. I hope I think everybody saw it. With uh, they were fighting or kind of arguing at the bus stop, and it looked like my man was defending her off with his cane, and then she kind of came through, and she stole his leg. Is a prosthesis and then ran off. I'm sorry, where'd you send this video at? I don't see nothing wrong with it. No, so, what? <laughs> so, I don't know, we don't know how it started, but however, I guess it was an altercation. She was trying to come at him. He, 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 first of all, he's obviously handicapped, he has his leg off, well, half his leg is off, it's sitting to the side, so he can't stand up and run and like defend himself, so he uses the cane. To kind of defend, you know, get her off, but she kind of muscles around the cane because she was a she was obviously younger than he was. It looked like he hit her in the face with it, though. I mean, he was trying to defend himself, so I don't care. You shouldn't be coming if because before she before he hit you, huh? You got the video? Yeah. <laughs> Where did you send it? To the group chat. Oh, no. I see it. Uh, just go on and pull it up right here, cause. <laughs> I, like we don't know what how it started. So, but if I'm swinging the cane at you, don't keep coming towards me. She kept coming, so she probably did get hit in the face. Bro, and, those, uh, those legs are probably wild expensive. Where is he gonna get another one from? And she did. Like if that's the, if that my question was this that pay like that's the pettiest thing. Like, whatever we argue about, you're not gonna steal my leg. Like I can't go nowhere. You hit me in the face. Well, you got yourself hit in the face because before I swung she the cane, walked away. Yes, yes, she should have walked away. No, 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 no. Not even without even seeing this video, he's already the one who cannot walk yes, away. Yes, like stop, stop. I'm looking at the video right now, and what it looks like is that they're standing there arguing, and then he swings the cane at her face. She I had no shoes on. I already don't trust her. Yeah, like, she's all the way wrong here. Clearly on drugs. Like, it don't let's matter. Not act like he's innocent in this. It don't and matter. He, and he could have had his prosthesis on. It ain't on. He so did. that's the way you were. He didn't. He didn't. It don't matter okay, that he could have. He did. We standing here arguing and you hit me in the face with your cane. You got I'm hit yourself. Your I'm in the stationary position. My you dude. You coming towards me. You she came towards in. him. She came towards him after he swung at her. He swings. No, no, no. I'll play it one second. Put up the video, please. 
I keep watching it. She was coming towards him and yes. he was doing that to like get away. Get her out. She was standing there yelling at him, but she started actively moving towards him once he started swinging, is what I see. Uh, Who goes into the lion's den like that? Yeah, that, that, no. I just feel that he lost his leg. I hope she gave it back. I don't, because they obviously arguing with each other. So. I, I, I refuse to believe he was fully innocent in that. It don't matter. You don't <laughs> take my leg. Like, what? Yeah, I got I to all, all the fair and war. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Well, I got to see. If you, if you, if you bought that life, your leg don't, ain't that important. He arguing back with her. It ain't like she just pounded him in his head and then snatched his leg and ran. They're arguing with He's each other. He's defending himself. All right, I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. Thank you. Then I'll have my real opinion when this is over. Don't hit play until it's concerned. One of y'all got the window open because them crickets is on 10. <laughs> y'all ready? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I already see. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! real, didn't it look? <laughs> Looking around like, shit, go get my leg. Uh, <laughs> so, one, it looked like she was coming at him. To Thank you. Him. Thank you. He was defending well, himself. Well, yeah. well, I it looked like they were arguing. And he she probably like, told her, don't come walk over up here. On me. Okay, that's fine. She walked up. She didn't physically hit him yet. He hit her. <laughs> that's my point. I can't move. Guess what? I got a question for you because I, I think a lot of people I don't know, but they probably feel this way. If you're missing some type of limb or you at a disadvantage off rip and you feel like you're like, like you're like someone's like physically trying to harm you, you swing. I don't you're probably gonna swing first. Right, right, right. I'm not saying anything's wrong with him swinging at her, but he swung at her, so now it's on. Give me that leg. You gotta run that leg, playboy. Like I'm not saying he's wrong for swinging, but leg. now we fighting. Now we fighting. Uh, listen to what you're saying. All of this could have been like we we arguing. No, obviously, I, no, I, no. obviously, I'm in a I'm in a situation where I can't. My leg is up, and if you've seen him, he tried to step on the leg to stop her from taking it, like he right. had a chance right. to. But now we're fighting. That's my point. I'm not saying. Yeah, no. but, but listen, we're only fighting because you came at me. If we would, if you would so just walked away, that's fine. So if someone gets in your face. They don't hit you. They get in your face. And then you decide to swing because that's all right. You're so, in my personal space. And they hit you back. So I'm, I'm supposed you can't be in my personal space. Yeah, I'm supposed right, to. Right. That's, we I we think y'all are missing what I'm saying. Listen, to, Can y'all hear me? Because I know I've been breaking up and no one says anything. Listen yeah, to me. Okay. If, if, so, if someone gets in your face and you decide to hit them, right? Because you ran up on me, so now I'm going to hit you. And then they hit you back. Are they more wrong than you? Like, now we're fighting. I hit you because you hit me. You hit me because I was in your face. So my point is, he's wrong. She's wrong. I get you. But we're not talking about us who have two arms and two legs. Two legs. Y'all got to stop thinking just because these people handicapped, they won't get with you. <laughs> like, yeah, I was so like, they will. Yeah. Clearly, he got with her and he exactly. lost her. Exactly. And but that's my point. <laughs> so you got with her. You with the shit. We with the shit. No, nah, I still think that's inappropriate. And though. now he, now he yeah. one less leg. Nah, I nah. feel like those are really expensive. <laughs> no, nah. first of all, it's not. It's not even about. It's not even about the with the shits. We're arguing. You're approaching me. We could keep arguing and keep talking. You, Which may have happened, happened if he didn't hit her. You don't know if she was gonna so, hit him. She so, stepped towards him. So listen, but let me you ask don't know if she was so, gonna hit so, him. So let me ask you a question, Sarah. We arguing. I step towards you. You gonna wait to see if I'm a swing, or you gonna swing? Cause I, me, me stepping towards you is me approaching you probably to do something. So you gonna wait? Let me see if this nigga swing first. And, and what if I swing and knock you the wait, hell out? I, what I'm saying is that him swinging to me is not a problem either. But we're not now talking we're fighting. We're talking about yeah, that's, we fighting. It's over with. You walk your way, I walk my way. Don't, you gonna take my leg? Yeah. She don't know that man. She don't care about that man's leg. Right. That's fine. I hope she got down the street and thought about that. Like, <laughs> that's fine. So, so y'all would feel better if she just punched him in the face. That would have been yeah. better for you. Yes. Yeah. 
to me, I feel like that would have been worse. This is an old man. For all we know, she just threw the leg down the street. Now he got to hop and get it. He can't hop and get it. That's less than if she punched him in the face and nodded his head. Like leg in that cane. She ain't take that cane. He can get down there to get it. Yeah, she 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 didn't even hit him back. That's why to me it's better that she threw the leg or whatever she did with it. Now if she just started wailing on him, then I'd have been like, damn, that's fucked up. Like she ain't had to wail on my yeah, man. Seemed like he could take one in the face. I, I, I he would have rather I, 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 punch in the face and had his leg. Cause he could have walked away after, after I he was punch, punching that old man in the face to me would have been worse. She ain't hit him. You right. I I mean I agree with you. That <laughs> leg for me just yeah, that leg, that that about leg. how much it costs. I didn't even the cost. It ain't about the cost. I'll be seeing what's sitting right if he ain't wearing it. He ain't going nowhere. His little nub probably hurt. That he needs to get resized. Yeah, when uh Which he can't now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got one to take back. <laughs> he can't take one to the back. I think hitting him would have oh. been worse. I think hitting him would have been worse. That's that's why I said I, I agree her with taking it and why, throwing why, it or whatever she did with why it. Are you whooping on that handicap man? Like, yeah, people. Oh, like, now the handicap <laughs> man. <laughs> now that's what. what? I'm saying how what? the video would have been looked at if she had been punching him in the face. She's still wrong in the video. It's not. It doesn't change. I agree with. Yeah, you. I never. I never said that they one person was wrong or not. But I said, fuck it. All is fair in war. Like she took it. That's the consequence you pay. We fighting. I ain't saying, oh yeah, she was right to do that, but I ain't mad at her. Like, yeah, it's cool. I'm not, I'm not mad at her. I'm not mad at her, is what I'm saying. I'm not Wherever mad at her. Everybody is in the world. I really do hope he got his leg. <laughs> I ain't mad at her. She took she took the cane to the face. So she took a cane to the face all regard. We wouldn't have had none of this issue had she took one step back. If she took one, but we hear now. Right, right, right. But we hear now. Of the whole so listen to me. So now, so now that that's happened, right? So say she ran up, he hit her. So now she walked away. Yes. What so you. Fuck? So if she you run up, up. I'm, I'm sure, you ran up with the. Sure you run up, up, you run away, up. I'm sure everyone's been in a fight before. So if you run up and you get hit. And you don't get knocked out. You just go take that hit and walk away. Like, oh yeah, I got fucked up. That's my bad. Better go home now. Yeah, like, shit, shit. Shit. Wait, everybody lying. Wait, everybody wait, motherfucking wait, lying. Wait, wait. Whatever. No, 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 no. You, you, you're absolutely right. But shit, depending on how hard your ass got hit, you might turn around and walk your ass away. Right, but I didn't think she didn't get that hard. You might be like, oh, I'm not ready for this. And you might just <laughs> like, oh, he's serious. Oh, let's, so, let's not take let's not take it out the out, out of context. Like you can't walk away. Yeah, we might have never done it, but we but ain't never been in a situation. If I walk up hard over here, if I walk up and get hit in the face with a cane, I might think twice about it. Like, well, damn. Okay, <laughs> buddy, ready for me? Like. like <laughs> a different scenario. Like, no, like, you can say all about what you want. Like, oh, shit, you hit me, I'm going to come back. No, like, well, this obviously, is, obviously that hit wasn't that hard for her to walk away. She was going to I don't even think she, I don't even think he connected to the face. That's the way it, it, it looked it's like he maybe connected. She should have took that man leg. This fight ain't for me. <laughs> like, you can't always just I say I thought like, I was about that life, but I realized <laughs> this ain't you, it. You can't say everybody <laughs> just, just was Everybody just responded like, oh, shit, let's, let's go. Boom, oh, but wait, hold on. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> but if that is your response, I'm not mad at you. That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, she took, took that man's leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, like taking somebody's wheelchair. Like, that oh, one. God, come on, man. It is. It's the oh, same thing. Oh. If a nigga hitting you in the face with a cane, you can technically do what you want. Exactly. Uh, I could step backwards and not get hit. Like, it no. doesn't... You're right. You're right. But now that I haven't done that, we're here now. Well, now, so, now I'm capable of taking that same cane and delivering the same pain to you. So you're going to get hit in the face with this cane, sir. And you're going to sit there because you can't get up. Oh, so that would have been better if you snatched the cane and beat him with it. I mean, I, I just, 
I, my struggle is the leg and the removal of... So she could have did anything else to him but that is what you no, said. No, I mean, she couldn't have, like, set him on fire or something. Like, nobody's saying anything. That's all. All she care about is his weak-ass leg. He probably got an extra. He probably got a bed or something, and they... The, the VA ain't gonna he give him. Probably work at the, that's the first thing I thought too. I'm like, he could probably get another one from the VA. They ain't gonna give him another one. They not. <laughs> they you gotta wait a certain amount of years. Like, Y'all know how like somebody right? come in your house and steal your leg. Nah, nah. You gonna have to pay a fee. Yeah, he's not just gonna get another one. That's gonna be for the for the freezy. It ain't like, oh man, somebody stole my prescription. Can you refill this? That's like that don't even happen. <laughs> that don't even happen. You don't have to get a scooter. I, I make them give me a police report if they say that. So see, <laughs> be lying. He gonna have to file a police report for his leg. <laughs> they gonna have to run the <laughs> investigation. Oh, and it's on camp. Well, it's it's, it's on video. <laughs> No, that's 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 foul. <laughs> that's, that's rough. Yeah, I, I can't get down. Tiffany that. said she could have beat him in the head with the cane, but just don't take the leg. <laughs> All right. All right. It's been that's fun. only mode of transportation. <laughs> Girl, he at the bus stop. It ain't. How he gonna get on the bus? How he gonna get on he it? Got a cane. She ain't taking that cane. cane. Ain't gonna stabilize him on that other bum leg. How you know that leg bum? You see, he couldn't move either one of them. He, he couldn't step on the leg. He, he tried to step on the on the on the foot to stop her from taking try to. It wasn't nothing working. The cane didn't work. The other leg wasn't attached. He couldn't stand up. He's fine. We don't know that. Has anybody checked on him? Oh. We need a, I need, we need a follow up video. Cane, we, need a, no we need a suicide watch. <laughs> no, I don't think he's gonna hurt him. He probably never been in a few kerfuffles in his life. He 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 a tough dude. Hey, wait, I got one, I got one more video that is like when something goes from bad to worse in two seconds. All right, and now uh, we'll end on this. Uh... I saw oh, this dog. Wait, start it over. <laughs> oh, Sorry, I shouldn't have oh, laughed. Oh shit. That's rough too. Oh my god! Dang, they had to get down in that thing. Oh, <laughs> oh Lord! Yeah, that's mm -mm. that's a bad day. That is definitely a bad, bad day. bad to worse in no time like Jesus. that. I'm traumatized. You probably just see that shit coming. Like, please don't roll. Please don't roll, and you can't stop it. Like, oh my god. Like the hit, it looked like when she got hit, she wasn't hurt too bad. Like she could have got up and maybe kind of hobbled home. But to slide evenly head first head into first. the sewer. Mm. Like, first of all, first of all, why that manhole so big and ain't got no cover on it? That's the first That's question I would have asked. That's valid. The little I know they're not that big. We have those here. They're not that big. Yeah. Other and countries all, though don't have the same down. engineering. <laughs> If it's a whole person and, some, and, and, and a couple other people went down there, and that ain't engineered, that's just some more cement. <laughs> hey man, they rules are different over First there. First of all, Jeff, over there, there is. Note, and uh, I thought you was gonna show a video, like in this on a lighter note type deal, but more foolishness. <laughs> oh, that, I mean. I just said bad to worse. I don't know what I can read this verse. No, no, we're not doing that. However, what I do need, what I do need, nope. All right, it's cool. We can, we can fix that. Wait, 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 wait. Real so quick. Look, please uh, tell me uh, y'all saw the clip of Steve Harvey at uh, the this Family Feud. This last one or whatever. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Jeff, I'm going to uh, text it to you. What, what is it on? It's on Instagram? It's on Shade Room. They just... <laughs> They just posted it. They was like, I ain't never heard of Steve Harvey. Uh... <laughs> Hold on. It's, uh, not, it's on Usher. It's on at least 50 posts a day. Like, if I saw them I know, 24 hours you ago, gotta, you gotta it gotta might as well it. be gone. You got to save it. They post too much. All right. I think I did, actually, but 
I I think I might have a better chance of just finding it. I think I got it. It's a it's a man in a white tux, a white white. Suit. Yeah, Steve Harvey got on like an orange suit. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Duh. Oh, we can't hear the word. We can't hear the. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I tried to fix it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Hold on, I'll just show it on my phone. Hold on. Y'all can just hear it that way. Let me see. Let me see if I can get it going. I'm gonna try. I hollered. That's my show already, but I ain't never heard Steve respond like that. All right, let me see. I'm gonna try. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all boy R. Kelly out here fooling. Always. I ain't even been on today. Uh, you have a comment under under there, Aaron. What? Oh, this, <laughs> this is absolutely hilarious. It is though. Dog, that was posted literally one day ago and I still can't find it. I'm about to just go look at it. <laughs> oh, I gotta play it for y'all. I'm probably skipping over it. How did I find that quicker than you did? I don't know. Uh you might have passed it. I, I'm sure I did. On the shade room. Okay, I met two days ago. We getting there. <laughs> I know I passed it. It was posted one day ago. I know. That's what I'm saying. I passed it. <sighs> okay. Mm. Really? Oh, got it. Okay, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeff, you can take it off so I can put it on. I mean, so it can be on a bigger screen. I mean, so you go, yeah, yeah. Damn, that ain't that ain't helping. Okay, whatever. Just give us the audio. Moonlighting as a handyman, he might replace his hook with what tool? Try again. Tell me the age of kids too old to sleep with a tech. What? Steve Harvey used the F word. Well, clearly he said he used the F word. <laughs> it oh, took him a minute God. to register. Like, wait. What? He definitely kept going. He had a tool oh. as his hand. Instead of a hook, that's the tool that nigga came up with. Oh my that's god, that's hilarious, <laughs> dude. <laughs> he said, "What the?" F <laughs> well, wait a minute, now we gonna have to re-record <laughs> this. <laughs> like this is a family show. <laughs> I was thinking about the producers and stuff on the back end. You know, they got to be ready for that that bleep out. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <yeah. sighs> They let. I guess you can let penis fly, but I mean it's a, it's a part of the anatomy. So yeah, yeah. If you use the proper term, mm. all right. So well, so. yeah, that part was fine, but if like, you use the f word, I think it's a second, like a few second, like lag or something. So they, I don't think it's live. It's not. Oh, okay. No, it's not. It's recorded. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was able to bleep that out. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it was probably live for the people in the audience. Like, oh, oh, they heard it. Yeah, he dropped that boy. That would have made my day too if I had been in that audience. I would have ran. Right. So, what I need you all to do, everyone that's listening, um, I'm trying to get this audio up as soon as possible. Is my cousin? He is the owner of Motor City Canine. He is trying to become a Channel Four's. Um, they have vote for the best pet edition, so they have like pet stores, groomers, whatever. However, he has a dog training business. It's called Motor Motor City K9 K9, and I need you all to go on Channel 4's website and vote for him. Voting goes up until midnight Sunday. You can actually vote every hour. I'm sure you all won't vote every hour. But vote as much as you can throughout the day. We're trying to help him win America, I mean, Detroit's Channel 4's best dog trainer. So that is Sunday, August 16th. 
Correct. And twelve. So I voted uh, once already. I'm gonna vote a lot more. Every, yeah, every, and every you time. vote on different devices. So it's it's the it's based by the email address. So if you have multiple oh. email addresses, mm-hmm. you can vote. So if you got two email addresses, you can vote literally twenty four times in the day. So um, yeah. I got a comment to throw out there too. Um, Brenda Jones, Detroit's um, city council woman, she's been um, posting lately like her favorite black businesses, and people have been tagging their favorite black businesses and stuff like that. So. Um, if you're looking for black businesses and you want to support some, that's a good spot to go to. It's also an app. Um, they find black businesses in your area. It's called OBWS. You put in like the zip code or what kind of business you're looking for, and it'll pick up on your area and it'll like let you know what black businesses are in your area too. So, um, yeah, try that out. Mm-hmm. And on that same note, um, there's a young lady I actually know from Hampton and Church named Jantel. She's a doctor. She just started an app, Black MD Cares, and it's an app that uh, healthcare, Black healthcare providers are signing up with so that if you're looking for a Black healthcare provider, you can go on it and search your area, and it'll give you a list of who's in the area, what their specialty is what insurance they take, and a little background information about them. So it's just getting started. Um, I myself am registering on it as well. So check that out um, if you're looking for a doctor or a therapist or a social worker, any type of healthcare provider. And that's good because all my, I purposely like got to the point this past year, like, well, since last year, made sure like all my doctors are black. Yeah, all of mine are too. Like, to find like my my internal medicine doctor is also my OBGYN like she does everything mm-hmm. but um like my dentist is black like I was like yeah this is I need to just go on and like do black everything so but that was hard for me to do like it's very hard to find them yeah because yeah. I haven't been able to completely yeah. overhaul my whole team so that it's very hard because it's hard to find yeah so um, check out give it a little that, time coach. <laughs> You said you can't do that? <laughs> Why? Not leaving my dentist. The only dentist I've ever had my whole life. Okay, well... Um, <laughs> I mean, that's understandable, but I, I didn't have a dedicated... I, I mean, if you have yeah, if you have somebody that's been yeah, a family been doctor that your whole family goes to, and it's, you know, that's that's different. Yeah, you, that you, you know this person, you're used to this person, but if you just out here like us... Oh, I need a doctor. Just, I need a regular yeah. doctor. Just try to, you know, like me, I, 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 I just became an adult and got insurance like a couple of years ago. So I'm, you, you know, yeah, never, never get, that was a joke, Aaron. Like, <laughs> no, it wasn't. He's like, damn, man. <laughs> no, I've, I've had insurance ever since I've been employed. But however, you know how that go. Some people ain't, jobs don't offer insurance. So you be bouncing around to, you know, situations and so. However, um, in regards to what you were saying, there is another um, about the a black, um, like black businesses. It's a, a, a young lady. Uh, um, is um, she's coming up with a website called uh, the Black Business Directory. She's also on um, Instagram. It's called the Black Business Directory Co. She actually uh, reached out to us to put our information on, so I got to send it to her so oh. it's something pretty cool so the black business directory dot co and uh, she's going to launch the website uh, I think she started a countdown today to launch the website so that's something hey. else pretty good remember we had somebody on the show who started a black business directory you're talking about black business finder he never yeah, he never yeah he, remember he was just doing the. Uh, I actually just listened to that uh Episode. That, that episode not too long. It was a really good episode. Yeah. It's a really good episode. And, uh, you know, he basically, uh, I don't know if he's transitioned to just like the website or anything, but he made, he kind of did a, uh, he flipped it and was doing like interviews and giving you like the rawness of the the black yeah, business of the right. owner. So you can, you can more so kind of tie into it and not just be like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm supporting because they're black. You actually understand their background and their story. <laughs> So yeah, shout out to Cartier and the Black Business Fighter. He's been doing his thing. Yeah. With that. But other than that, anybody got anything else to yeah. say? Shout out to Cartier. Yeah. 
Shout out to every, you know, every entrepreneur. Every entrepreneur out here trying to do their thing because I know it's hard because um, COVID just shut down a lot of doors and a lot of people didn't come back from it. So, you know, um, we're here to support however we can. If, if we can advertise or, you know, drive anything, we're definitely here for you all. So drop us a DM, <clears throat> drop a message on the YouTube comment. If you know anybody that's struggling and needs more pr publicity or promotion, we're definitely here for it if you know anything. So anybody that's listening. But other than that, uh, Saray, you got some help for the culture before we go? No, I don't. <laughs> that, that actually got to be help for the culture, the telling you about the app. But oh. it was a perfect moment to bring it up. So, no. But if you want to edit it to put it there, that's fine. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't doing all that. Mm, so, <laughs> that's fine where it is. All right. So, um, yeah. So, this has been our time. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, it's always a blast. My name is Jay Liggs. This is your culture. So, be a part of the cure. Peace. Peace. Bye. Bye.